Okay, so this is a rock collection. They've been found at our site on day three. We've got some rocks that look like agates over here. This one I think is definitely an agate. And then we have a brown agate-like one. Kind of cool, but I don't know if that's actually an agate. And this rock is just kind of cool right here. Also, probably not an agate in this case, but it's got cool colors. And then over here, we've got these white rocks that tend to uh, possibly form crystals in them. This one didn't, but it's got what almost looks like an old piece of wood in there. Right in there, or right there. Maybe fossilized. And this one, this one actually has crystals in it. You can see them glint in the sun right here. So this is a geode. I found several of these. And then this one doesn't have anything in it, but it, pro it may have something in it, but we can't see it. It looks like the same type of rock. And then we have over here our striated rocks. This one's got a, just a white stripe right through it. And this one, a little bigger, formed from a couple of different layers with something sandwiched in the middle. And then with those, kind of by itself here, is a fossil that Pete found. A little hard to tell what it is. Maybe some kind of fish or shell. And you can sort of see the fossil there. If you get it just right in the light, it shows up pretty well. And then over here we have our conglomerates. There's quite a bit of large rocks of this shape and size, which are, uh, as you can see, made up of a lot of different rocks held together. Here's another one with some white rock in it. Got more variety. And then we have this guy, it's just kind of cool looking. All these white lines in it. So it formed some mixture of stuff, it looks like. It's laying around. And then we have another one. Oh yeah, I should have put this one up with the other one from Pete. This one might be a fossil of some sort as well. It looks like it's got pine needles or something in it. I don't know exactly what those little lines in there are, but it looks like organic matter, much like a pine needle or something. Just a little guy. And I have two perfect skipping rocks. There are millions of those on the beach. Of all sizes. And then lastly, but not least, is not a rock, but a piece of driftwood that I just thought looked cool. So if you just walk around and pick things up on the beach, you got amazing stuff to look at. That's our little collection.